it's Kika Kristen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I wasn't expecting to film today, but I just got my third package in the mail, so we is doing this today. Snapchat. First of all, go and do that right now because I post like a lot of makeup looks. It's just like a little bit more personal so you guys will get to know me a little bit more. I just made like a snap saying that I was waiting for a third package which came in a little bit earlier today. Don't you guys love that when you're expecting a package at a certain time and it comes in like hours before? So I ordered from three different places. Um, the first one was Morphe Brushes. The second one was from Juvia's Place and the third one is Storybook Cosmetics. I've never Never tried Juvia's Place or Storybook Cosmetics, so I'm really excited to try these products out. I love Morphe brushes, so I just bought a couple things from there. I probably won't put any of the makeup on my face today just because I have my makeup done. Like I said, I wasn't expecting to film today, but I just got really excited because I just love opening packages. But I will be showing you guys everything that I got, and the prices will be in the description box as well. I might swatch some on my arm, but I won't be putting anything on my face, like I said. That will be for another day. Okay. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna go on Instagram live. I was gonna like open this on Snapchat, but it's just like too much. So I'm going to go on Instagram live. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I post more like travel, nature, outfits, and makeup on my personal account. And that's at Hijang, so it'll be somewhere on the screen. And my makeup account is just strictly makeup, a lot of makeup videos, and that's Cake of Kristen. And my Snapchat is Christine Babe, and that's with the two A's. So I would love it if you follow me on all my social media and interact with me. You know, I love talking to you guys, even though I don't get like a lot of people. Obviously, I don't have thousands of subs, followers, supporters, whatever. But the few people that do take the time to comment on my videos, my pictures and stuff, that means a lot to me. So just, you know, interact with me a little bit more so I know that you guys actually like these types of videos. Let's go on Instagram live. Probably gonna wait a little bit so I can give a little bit more time for people to show up on my Instagram live because there is nobody here yet. I'm gonna show you guys what I got for Morphe brushes first. First thing that I bought was the Day Slayer and this is the 15D palette. I saw it on the website and it came with um, a Night Slayer I think it's called but they ran out of that so I only was able to get the Day Slayer and I think this was only 15 bucks. Let me find the receipt. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I think it was 15 bucks. I got two like things. Actually, no, I got three things of lashes, but I wore one of them already. I think it was this one. This is Heartbreaker. This like made me nervous because I've never been on Instagram live for this long. And my boyfriend's watching me on Instagram live. Um, the other two that I got was so glamorous. And the last one is so charming and I love the like wispy lashes that like spread apart like this <laughs> You guys are gonna be in my video So I'm excited because this is the first Jeffree Star lipstick that I have I have like a fake Jeffree Star lipstick from the Wish app But this is the like legit Jeffree Star And this is the color Dirty Money It's this Beautiful green. Of course it's green. I tend to navigate towards all the green colors. See, I still have two more palettes. So I bought the 3502. Oh, all the lashes were 10 bucks. This palette was 23. That's why I love Morphe because their palettes are pretty cheap. And I bought the Jaclyn Hill palette. Finally, I thought they were all sold out. Or I don't know if she restocked them. But you have to go to the counter and ask them specifically for the Jaclyn Hill palette. Because they don't have them just like lying around in the store. Where you can grab them and this was pretty expensive i think because it's jacqueline hill this was 38 in total all of this stuff costs 135.79 kind of like spent a little bit too much money right there so let's open some of these i got two fans one of them is baby <laughs> so this is a palette it's so cute and it's so small and i think it's perfect for traveling you just stick this in your bag or your purse <gasps> Wow, look at that. Look at these colors. 
I saw this in the store, but I don't know why I was so surprised when I opened it. I think I was expecting like darker colors. This is perfect for fall with all the orange tones and brown tones. Wow, it's really creamy. It has a little bit of fallout, but it's kind of like chalky when I swatch it. You can't... This color doesn't like show up on me that well. So that was natural, which is a good transition color. And actually, let me swatch on my arm. That's Spark. This one is in the crease. So that has a lot of fallout. But the pigment is really good. The next one is Forever. I like that it has like a full-sized mirror. I can actually see my whole face on this mirror. So that's good. I'm not really liking how these are swatching. They're not as creamy as they feel on the finger. So the shimmery ones swatch pretty well, but the matte ones don't. But maybe it'll be different with the brush. These are horrible swatches, I'm sorry. Oh my god! Look at that orange! I'm not liking these swatches at all. I'm only gonna swatch the shimmery ones. Okay, now look at all the fallout. Yeah, see like all the shimmery ones are swatching pretty good. When did we meet? I think I remember you. I didn't know that you did makeup. Oh, I didn't know you did YouTube. Put your like um, username and I'll... And I'll follow you okay so that's enough of that palette i'm done with that palette okay let's open this 3502 palette which i'm really excited because there's this bright red that i'm dying to try i feel like the packaging is different because i have some of their other palettes their packaging looks like a lot nicer i feel like okay my phone might die i don't know it just has a different feeling and the letters are different so it looks like more modern, I guess. This is what the palette looks like. Let me take this plastic thing. It low-key looks like the 35OM palette, like a little bit. No, not really. No, this is the 35... Okay, this one fell out. <laughs> but this is the 35OM palette, which I use all the time. And this is the 3502. So they're kind of similar similar-ish. This one has like more red tones and this one also has some shimmery eyeshadows in there as well. This one only has matte. I want to swatch this red one really bad. <gasps> Look how pigmented! I'm so excited to use this one. <gasps> so pretty! I want to put this on my face. I don't know why I feel like I like swatches a lot more than putting it on my eyes. I feel like they look pretty all next to each other. Yeah, I can't wait to try some more of these. Let's do a matte one just to see if it has a lot of fallout as the first palette. Alright, so I just went off Instagram live because it's just like too much pressure trying to film on both places. So I'm just gonna focus on you guys now. I just swatched Dirty Money and this is the Jeffree Star lipstick. I just love this color! I think the packaging is super cute, and I love this, um, is it broken? I don't know if it's broken, but I love the little, like, lipstick wand that it comes with because it just makes applying it so much easier. But this is the color, very velvety, very smooth, and it feels really hydrating, even though it's not on my lips. The next place, I bought the stuff online, and it's Julia's place, and I've heard really great things about this. The packaging is beautiful, but I've never tried their products, so I'm excited. It's like a surprise, even though I bought these. I don't remember what the palettes look like, and I don't remember what eyeshadows are in there. So I'm really freaking excited! Oh my god! Oh, look at this! So pretty! I love it! I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh my god! Yes, bitch! How did I open this? Give me my palettes! Oh my god. <gasps> These are so pretty. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this! <gasps> this color! Oh my god, I just realized that my Jaclyn Hill palette is right here and I didn't swatch any of it and I didn't open this. Let me open this real quick so I can show you. Ah, fudge! Even though you guys probably have already seen it. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? So pretty. 
so pigmented and I'll do like two more I don't want to like ruin my whole palette before using it and I'll do one more this green <gasps> yes on to the Juvia's palettes so like I said, I've never tried any of Juvia's Place makeup. It's just so exciting. I love this packaging. I die for it. I like want to take the palettes out of the box and then use the boxes and like put them up on my wall because that's how pretty they are. Cool names that I've never seen before on a palette. I really want to swatch um, this red and this green because y'all know i love my green oh and i also want to swatch this one because this is an interesting color it's like a silvery white bluish i feel like and i want to swatch this one as well so first one i'm going to swatch is sakoto and then wa wa what up what up <laughs> iman and then jamila so as i'm doing this i see no fallout pretty pigmented wow that's only one like one swipe guys this green one is very creamy so excited i love shimmery greens wow this would make a very pretty inner corner highlight jamila okay that one didn't show up as much this one is a matte this one i'm having a little bit trouble this one you have to kind of build up so that was the Saharan palette. And that one I bought online for only $19.99. Okay, let's go into the Magic palette, which is this beautiful one right here. And this one goes for $28.99. Kind of want to try one of these looks that they have on. I love how the packaging looks exactly like the box because I know some packaging, um, when you open the palette, it looks different from the box. So... I like that they made it the same because this is just so beautiful. Mainly like was really attracted to the packaging rather than the eyeshadows. I don't know if that's really bad, but I just really wanted it to be part of my like makeup collection. Wow, so I did not expect the eyeshadow pots to be this big. Because if you look at the last one, look at the size difference. That's crazy. I don't have an eyeshadow palette that has eyeshadows this big. I really want to swatch the two greens. I want to do these ones as well. And I probably want to swatch this one too to see how the mattes um, show up. Just to see if they have um, some fallout. So this is Nubia. This is this beautiful shimmery green. Oh my god. It's a little bit more yellowy than I would than I thought. I actually thought it was gonna turn out like this color, but it's more yellow. So beautiful. So pigmented too. And really creamy. Oh <gasps> wow. The color payoff of these eyeshadows are amazing. Amazing. I can't like swatch with my freaking thumb. I want to do some of the mattes as well. They don't stick as well as the shimmery ones. Definitely have to build them up a little bit, but that's okay. I ain't mad about it. I like pretty much am swatching this whole damn palette because the colors in here are just so pretty. This one is actually a matte and look how pigmented it is. like. God damn! Okay, I'll see you. I actually want to swatch this other pink because it looks similar to the other one. So I just want to see the difference. That one had a little bit of fallout. Wow, this one is a very bright baby pink compared to this one where it's more like a rose gold. This one would be a really great inner corner highlight. Alright, enough of that palette. Even though... I still want to play around with it. But I still have some more stuff to show you guys. I don't want to make this video long as hell because this is only the first day. 
and I still want to try some of the products on my face tomorrow. Maybe I should just do like a part two, you know, and make this just one video. Okay, next palette and this is the last palette that i got from julia's place um this is the masquerade palette this is the large one and the other one that i just showed you was also large this one is the same price it's 28.99 i love the pop of color that they do on the side of their packaging on this one they did a pop of like this mint green this one they did like a peach and in a light orange and the last one they did hot pink with yellow and I just think these colors are so cute together and this is what the palette looks like first thing my eye went to was this pretty color right here I hope the camera is picking up this like sparkle because it has like a gold like specks in it and I really want to swatch this so let's do it let's go on this side Wow, that is very pigmented. And this is actually like a matte color. You can't really see a lot of the gold specks. It's very subtle. Um, I want to swatch this warm tone brown with like, has like red undertones. And I want to do this color right here, Chai or Chi. Mali Dahlia. Ooh, boring. You know what? Like, I'm pretty much just swatching this whole damn palette because all the colors look so pretty. Wow, I'm just so amazed. Like, each swatch, I'm like, wow. A lot of the mattes I'm not really impressed with. They just seem like regular matte eyeshadows to me. But the ones with the shimmer... Bomb as fuck. Okay, that's all the swatching I'm going to do for today. But I'm going to move on to the next brand just because I feel like I've been filming for a while already. Last box is from Storybook Cosmetics and I'm so excited because I've seen reviews. I want them to come out with more like book. Sorry if you can hear my mom talking in the background. Um, yeah, I want them to come out with more like book covers or whatever because i just think it would look so cool all of them next to each other looking like just regular books but really their makeup palettes like i think that's really cool i really wonder what movie they're going to do next so this is what it looks like these are the brushes that i ordered i was dying to get my hands on these rose brushes they're pretty soft wow this one's really soft i probably honestly won't use these they're probably just gonna like sit on my vanity just for looks you know because they're so pretty like how can you use these these are the brushes and they're actually pretty heavy they're not like that cheap material like i can't even bend this or anything um it looks like it's glued in there pretty well so we got four brushes and these are all face brushes um and they have like a little s on the front for storybook cosmetics the brushes came with this cute little bag right here so this is the front it has a bunch of roses on it and the storybook cosmetics logo and on the back it says what's in a name that which we can call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet this is cute actually i needed another makeup bag so i also bought another set of brushes Ooh, they come in this package and i think these brushes as you know the roses are from beauty and the beast this one is from the movie secret garden which i've never seen and i don't know what that is this set came with five face brushes and they all have different flowers in them and these are supposedly real flowers so i thought that was really cool let's see i think this is the harry potter one just from the looks of it comes in another bag comes with another um bookmark um this is the packaging so cute i love these little um baggies that they come with i think it just feels like more expensive and it feels like you're getting what you paid for because these are all about 55 to 65 dollars i believe this is the charlie and the chocolate factory booklet and it's so cute it actually looks like a real book this is so cute so you just slip it out of its cover i believe yeah and it looks the exact same as the packaging, which I love when they do that. And let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Comes with the golden ticket. Oh my god, that's so cute. I wonder if it's a sticker. Is it a sticker? No, it's not. I don't 
That's so cute though. Comes with the mirror. Good size mirror. Comes with 12 eyeshadow shades. I really want to swatch this golden ticket right here. And I'll swatch Oompa Loompa. Let's do this mixed Mike TV. Yeah, I think that's one of the characters' names. Okay. Not as pigmented as the Juvia's Place palette, but still pretty pigmented. Oh my god. Smells like chocolate. This is Oompa Loompa. This feels really chalky. Yeah, it kind of looks chalky. And this is Mike TV, which feels more creamy. That is pretty pigmented. I would say they're kind of the same as Morphe, like the consistency of them. Wow, this pa package smells so chocolatey and I don't like chocolate so it's kind of like a weird smell to me. I love the Too Faced chocolate um, bronzer, that smells amazing but this smell, that's more of like a cocoa smell, this smells more like chocolate. But yeah, those are all the swatches I want to do for now because I want to show you guys the other palettes. This is the Mean Girls, I think. Comes with another bookmark and it's pink this time. This is what this one looks like. These are so freaking cute. I'm so happy that I bought these. I've always wanted to hold the burn book from Mean Girls. So this is like pretty darn close. That would be really cool if they made the cover velvety because I feel like in the movie wasn't the cover velvety like this material. I thought it was, but I don't know. I could be wrong. Take this out of its box and we got the same thing we got a big size mirror and these are all the shades y'all already know i gotta go into that green right there i want to swatch this one as well and october 3rd and also cool moon. let's see those four. Oh nope i want to i want to swatch this one too is butter carb oh my god these names are so cute gruel glen coco so fetch wednesday she doesn't even go here the plastics regina george mouse duh you can't sit with us cool mom october 3rd those names are so cute <laughs> okay not as impressed as i thought i was going to be to be honest i was expecting a little bit more i don't have any primer on my arms though so maybe that's why but juvia's place was so pigmented i had no primer on as well but yeah i was just expecting this yellow to be a little bit more pigmented but mm, whatever this one is feels creamy Okay, this one, see this one is this one is pretty pigmented. Yes, I can't wait to use that green. Next one is she doesn't even go here and this one feels really chalky. Pretty pigmented though. But it doesn't look as smooth, you know what I mean? This is cool mom. All the ones with the shimmer always show up better, I think. And the last one is October 3rd. This one feels a little bit dry rather than creamy and I thought it was going to be a little bit more creamier because it has some shimmer in it. The pigment on this one is actually pretty good. That's all for that palette. Last one is the Harry Potter palette. And uh, I'm not like a huge fan of Harry Potter. I think they're cool. But I'm not like a die-hard fan. I still need to watch all the movies. I still want to. But there's just so many. And they're so long. So I'm going to have to find a day where I can just binge watch on harry potter and this is what the little baggie looks like i really like the colors in this one very vampy i want to swatch this one right here sorcerer um this one is potions it's kind of hard to read Yinks. yeah i don't know <laughs> okay off the bat this one is super creamy sorcerer Pretty pigmented. Um, this one is Potions. Loving that color. And Yinks. Okay, I really like that color right there. Let's do one more. Let's do this gray shade. Cloak. So they're all pretty pigmented. It's just that some of them, like the yellows and this cranberry, kind of look... I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's not as smooth, if that makes sense very chalky feeling this is so cute because then i can just like put them all on my desk like this this could be part of my vanity and it'll just look really cute so that was everything that i bought that was my haul i went a little crazy and i bought a little bit too much stuff and i still want more but gotta you know space it out a little bit because 
Me's a broke bitch. <laughs> I'm really happy with all the stuff that I bought. Love the Morphe palettes. The Day Slayer palette wasn't my favorite. Love the size and I love the huge mirror that it comes with. But the swatches weren't turning out how I thought they were because they felt really creamy. But when I swatched them, they looked really chalky. But I haven't tried all of the eyeshadows out yet. And I haven't tried them with a brush and on my face with you know, foundation and primer and all that stuff. So maybe it'll turn out different, but first impressions, I didn't like how they swatched, um, at least most of them. The other two palettes, the Jaclyn Hill and the other Morphe palette that I bought, I love the colors in those ones. I love the swatches in those ones. Juvia's Place gotta be hands down my favorite eyeshadows. They look so pretty and cute and I'm gonna keep the boxes. Just like the pigmentation, there's barely any fallout. They just blew me away. I'm probably gonna use those palettes so much and I just can't wait to try all these different palettes on my eyes. I'm really really dying to try those brushes and I kind of don't want to touch them because they look really pretty but they're super soft. Maybe I'll just like try one of them. I don't know. I don't know yet. They just look really pretty on my vanity. <laughs> Love Love the booklets. I think they're so cute. I think the packaging is bomb. Love the little velvet baggies that they came in. So these are the four baggies that I have. I know this video is kind of long and I wasn't able to swatch all of the eyeshadows from every single palette. I bought nine palettes so it would have taken forever to swatch every single color. So let me know if you want me to make three separate videos for each brand so one for storybook one for juvia's and one for morphe i would gladly do that for you guys if you want to see it if you want me to do that please give this video a thumbs up so i know what you guys want to see and comment down below if you want me to do a specific makeup look specific tutorial from a specific palette that i just showed you just let me know in the comments below let me know by subscribing and liking this video otherwise I won't know if you guys actually want to see those videos. Thank you so much for watching. I just had so much fun with you guys on Instagram Live. And although there weren't that many people watching, I just still had a lot of fun with you guys and opening these packages, watching them and seeing what they feel like. And the brushes, I've been wanting these brushes. I've seen them on social media. I've been wanting them for a while. So thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. You a real one. Stay caked, stay fierce, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.